We're here today at Hampton Park Church in Hereford, where we'll be visiting their coffee shop. Each week, right throughout the year, up to 90 people gather here to chat and to, to share friendship and fellowship together. Let's go and see what is the good news about this coffee shop here at Hampton Park. Many churches are, are, are perhaps so focused on their children's work that they can think of little else. But it was a, a crisis in your children's work that led you to think differently. Yes, our children had virtually all gone to the nursery at St Paul's so they could get into the St Paul's school. St Paul's had built a new community centre which was then taken over by um, before school clubs, the nursery, after school clubs. We'd lost our play group so we were empty and they were full. Uh, an exchange minister we have from Canada said, stop worrying about not having children. You have a ministry to older people. Be what you is. So you've got 90 people every Wednesday. How do you cope? Well, as a church, we couldn't do it on our own. We have five teams made up of people from this church, St Paul's and the community. They're very busy. They're very tired by the end of the morning. Now you call it a coffee shop and the coffee isn't given away free. But you're not in this to make money, are you? No, we're not. We charge a pound. We charged a pound in 2001 when we started and we're still charging a pound. And we have at least a thousand pounds to give away every Christmas to local communities, local uh, charities. And also we support a holiday at home in the summer and pick up the bill for any overspend on that. Uh, for 30 elderly people for three days. So for me, it's a lifeline, absolutely. I live on my own in a flat, and unless I come out to something like this, I don't see people. Yeah. Folk who would normally be on their own can come and share conversation, share a cup of tea, cup of coffee, have a chat. There's the fair trade table, and it just gives an opportunity for people to sit and relax. Most of the people who come are either single or um, just in need of company, people to talk to, people to be with. And I'm sure if we were open more days, they'd be here. There are certain tables I call gossip tables because they do, they come along. And it's chit chat, all sorts of things that go on. And it's not just it's not just about church. So, if other churches were thinking of setting up a similar kind of coffee shop, uh, what would you say to them? I would encourage them to do so, to listen to God, to step out in faith, and allow for His leading. <laughs>